Hey everyone, it's Craig here from VDZ Media bringing you today a video part on the review for Far Cry New Dawn on PlayStation 4. I'm doing this a wee bit differently today. Uh, usually with these accompanying video reviews I play from the beginning of a game. Uh, I try to do some early game content so as not to ruin anything. Uh, I don't like to give away any story spoilers, ruin any parts of the game, um, but with Far Cry, I don't, I mean I'll put a disclaimer at the beginning, but I genuinely do not believe this is much of a spoiler, uh, to say that at the end of the game you have a free roam option, uh, you do in every Far Cry game, uh, this one is no different, um, in fact the similarities between Far Cry and New Dawn and Far Cry 5, Far Cry 4, Far Cry 3 is astounding. <laughs> it's it's becoming it's becoming quite a not a problem, but uh, they are almost copy and paste games in different locations. Um, so it's no surprise really that it follows the same traits. So my plan is just to talk about the game a little bit while playing 20, 20 minutes to half an hour of uh, post game uh, game completion content, uh, just doing some uh, things that I haven't completed yet, some side stuff, and talking about the game. So we're just going to start it up just now. As I say, I don't believe we will come across anything that would spoil the story. If we do, I will go in and edit those parts out so that we can avoid them, but I don't think we'll run into anything. Um, in terms of story, uh, I didn't think the story was as throwaway as many said. It's certainly it's certainly not the best story you'll get in a game. Uh, I would argue that that's that's true of all the Far Cry games. Uh, I think every one of them starts off pretty pretty strong, and then probably just the open world nature uh, kind of loses its way. Um, similar to previous games as well. In this particular one, you have strong. Uh, enemies again but you do not see enough of them you really don't uh, you see them at the beginning much like in every other Far Cry game then they disappear for hours at a time you hear from them over the radio <coughs> and they disappear again once again for long periods so the first thing you'll notice here is the graphics are beautiful the lighting everything about it um, the detail in this game is absolutely superb. Uh, I love the colour. It's the most vibrant Far Cry game to date, I would say. Uh, this is your home base where you can go about and talk to different characters. This is also where you can upgrade different areas. So, this here. I have fully upgraded, that's to upgrade just basically the whole base, but then you have the likes of the training camp, which can be upgraded, which helps your guns for hire. You've got a garage, which can be upgraded, which will give you access to better vehicles, I believe. I didn't really bother too much with it. You've got cartography, a healing garden, an explosives lab, a workbench, Oh, there's some stuff to collect here. Good way. Uh, an infirmary, and you also have expeditions. Now, what I think we'll do is we'll start by doing an expedition because I haven't finished all these. So, are we able to upgrade this? We are.
Right, so that's upgraded, so we need to I talk to this lad here. Go to. You know, the way you kick ass got me thinking of something. You know how they say when people die, they shit themselves? With the highwaymen, it's the opposite. They see you, then they shit themselves, and then they die. <laughs> it's so uh, poetic. Really beautiful. We need more beauty in this world, if you know what I mean. So listen to this. I have three words for you. al ka khaz Highwaymen are stripping it of whatever they can find. It's a whole operation. Well, my friend, that just means Operation Fuck That Shit is underway. If the movies taught us anything, it's that there's always a way in or out of that shithole, right? Getting to go to Alcatraz, pretty cool. I am certainly up for that. That's one that I've not done so far. Uh, so, new to the Far Cry games are options for different... Basically, it's a way of spinning out content. So, I believe in total there's seven expeditions. I could be wrong, I'll need to double check that. But, what happens is you... This is the first expedition here. So, you do it and then you get the option to do it again in a higher difficulty. Uh, and the higher difficulty you start at a different location on the smaller map and you're aiming to get to and then extract from different locations and then again you have to do it on a third difficulty so for each one of these as I say I've done the first two difficulties for that one I still have to do the third I have done the first for that and I've unlocked the second same there and here I have still to do the first difficulty so it's basically a way of getting more out of what they've created. So they've created a, a small map for Alcatraz here, and instead of just doing it once and never doing it again, they've created three different difficulties, three slightly different scenarios. <coughs> they've also... We will start this one. They've also done the same for outposts. So when you first claim an outpost, you scavenge it, you leave the outpost, enemies come back in and sort of up the ante and then you have to go back and complete it again in a second difficulty then once you do it again you scavenge everything that's there uh, you're looking for ethanol primarily um, which is one of the biggest sort of currencies in the game uh, and then once you give it back again then they will come back a third time and you have to overthrow it a third time so it's a way for them to extend the life of the game because there is only again I think maybe somewhere between 8 and 10 um, of these for you to do so it is a lot shorter is it short? right so on this kind of smaller map you are looking to get to that area there and then there will be a small proximity where there's a package you have to collect. Usually you can sneak to the smoke without being seen if you are clever enough and then at that point you will be alerted no matter what you do and you have to get out. So let's just Jump over here. Still parachute. <coughs> so, as you can see again, graphics are absolutely gorgeous. The game really does look incredible. They've basically went for colour in all aspects. I mean, even the guns. So usually I want to try and get to the smoke without being seen, which usually takes me two or three attempts once I figure out where the guards are, but as we are trying to do roughly about a half an hour review here, just a sort of review chat, 
even if we get seen, we'll just power through so as to not take up too much time. Shit, I didn't even saw him there. Is there anybody else? I do like to, when possible, mark enemies, just so that I keep a wee bit of an eye on them. The problem about now being inside is that it's hard to see where the smoke is. Else there. Good feeling what we're looking for is probably upstairs. <coughs> Absolute guess, but... Part of the problem obviously being that I was in the the zone of playing this game for a good few weeks and I actually finished the main story about three weeks ago but I got ill at the time so I wasn't able to write the review or record this part of the review straight after. Now, offhand, I couldn't actually tell you what the packages look like. I can't remember if they're computers or if they are. I couldn't tell you what they are. So, <coughs> I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for. Which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Although I'm pretty sure that beeping indicates what it is that I need. So I think it's perhaps in one of these. But I'm pretty sure if I break this open, I don't think I've got a silenced weapon with me. Oh no, I do.
There we go. Right, so once I take this, I need to find a way out. So back to the better hey, weapon. Ago, you found it. Time to get out of here, huh? Head to the docks. I'll come get you there. Right, so now we just need to bail. Now, as I say, no matter how well you do this, enemies, like I basically snuck out there without anyone seeing me, but enemies will now be alerted to your position regardless. And basically, here, you need to hold them off for a certain amount of time. Luckily, we have auto-aim and a pretty shit-hot weapon, so we should be fine. A minute and a half. Amazing you don't play a game for a few weeks how how much you forget. I'm sitting here trying to think how I throw a grenade. And how I get health back and I cannot remember either, unfortunately. <laughs> Do here is I need to just pause this for a second. I'll cut this out of the final review. Okay, I'm back, and I will have cut that to the best of my ability. Uh, sorry, in interruptions despite a pre-recorded video. So we should be about to let's go, let's go, let's go. extract. Where is he? There he is. So all we need to do is jump on. Expedition complete. Okay, I'm gonna go these idiots in the sky. Take that! Man, my, my tummy is full of uh papillon and butterflies! Nice work, mon ami! Now let's go home! This guy gets awfully excited when you when you manage to complete an expedition. So now that we've, we've done an expedition, I will come back and we'll take a quick look at the sort of main map. These are all, all the expeditions take place on smaller separate maps that you can't access throughout the normal game. Uh, which is cool, it's a really cool addition. Uh, I like it a lot and I like that you can go back and do them in different difficulties. Uh, obviously, like I said earlier, there's two ways of looking at that. One, it's reusing content, which it is, but two, it's cool and it <laughs> gives you more like um, I said in the written part of the review there was people knocking this game before it came out or oh, they're reusing the map the map's smaller the story's shorter all these things are pluses uh, I'll pull up the main map just now now it's hard to get context obviously but this is not a small map this is not a small map at all. To me, the maps in Far Cry 5, uh, Far Cry 4, they were too big. I don't, I don't need a map to be that size. I really do not. Um, I think a lot of the time, it's, it, it hinders it rather than, than working for it. Um, and I think this game is a lot more accessible. It's 
it's not as much of a time sink, everything about it, like I really, I think this is the best Far Cry game, certainly since 3, but it might even be better than 3, um, it's hard to, obviously it's better than 3 now, it's hard to judge at that time, so, where could we go, just to get a sort of quick look, we've got all these areas we have to pick up, these I haven't been over there yet, most of the outposts, it's just difficulty level 3 that I've still got left, So we don't necessarily need to do an outpost, but just if we could take you along. Just to see part of the map, see part of the area. Let's just go here. Travel. Yeah, my, my main takeaways from the game are though that it's it's beautiful. Um, you'll get if you do everything in the game at least twenty hours worth of gameplay, which to me is plenty. You're getting it at a discounted price. Um, it's I think it's a must. I think it's a must buy. Uh, I get that there's some people who are starting to get a little bit burned out on Far Cry, and that I can certainly understand because they hit all the same beats once again that they did before uh, and that's becoming a little bit tiresome now it's getting to the point where they're gonna have to they're gonna have to ease up a bit on that parachute down here Um, I would love to see a Far Cry game with a, a really good narrative. I do get that it's difficult to do in an open world game, but we've certainly had enough open world games now with good stories that I don't think it's an excuse. But all the things you know and you love from Far Cry games, the openness, the ability to commandeer different vehicles, everything like it's all there uh, and it's all it all looks better than it ever has before. And there's a lot to be said for that. Sleep and one awake for the looks of it. Five brutal takedowns, which is always good. We can look some of these bags. Uh oh. Now right there you saw the power of having a good weapon. Uh, I came across a similar bear in my first five hours of the game and I must have put about 40,000 bullets into it and it basically laughed at me and ate me. But uh, now that I've got this level 3 uh, assault rifle I can pretty much melt everything in my path. So we'll come over here, these are just locations where you can grab some extra supplies, it's a wee bit of a kind of scavenging hunt, sometimes you have to look about find the stuff. This looks like quite a small area so it shouldn't be too difficult. We've got a letter, some of the letters are quite good as well. Fuck my arms heart hauling this stuff here, but once I get this shed my stash is done. Just gotta move the board so I can show these bags, hope the highwaymen don't catch me. I think it's safe to say that I may have probably caught you, although I couldn't find any of that stuff. See, we'll come back actually, see this here, this shows you, I believe that, 
is a looter. It's an enemy that goes about. He's usually got a lot of gear on him. He's about looting bodies. So when you see that, you really want to follow these guys and take them out. Because you'll tend to get more stuff off them. Now we need to watch because we're about to get attacked from behind. Jesus. Medikit. Run away. Oh dear. That went badly. As I say, I couldn't remember how to how to actually use the medikits there until it popped up on the screen when it was too late. So despite your good guns, you can sometimes still get yourself in bother if you are subpar at shooting like myself. Right, we're still right next to that area, so we'll come back over here and this time we will try and collect it's cogs, isn't it? Ah, the three cogs. So basically you have to try and find the three of whatever icon is on the map to complete that area. So there's probably something up here. That will not be it though. They're always sort of out in the open. Somewhere. Don't know if other people are the same, but I have ha found them quite hard to find at times. And I think this is going to be one of those times. Where are they? Are they underneath? Or can you bust that down somehow? Seems almost as if they're inside, but aha. Uh -huh. There we go. I'm not seeing that. So here they are here. So one, two, three. Location complete. And we're about to get ambushed. Oh! Right, let's pick this lock and then we'll get the supply drop. These happen randomly throughout the game and they drop a lot of good stuff. So whenever there's a supply drop, you want to look around and you definitely want to get it. Same thing as before. Oh shit! Didn't see where that supply drop landed. Christ, there's a lot of them. There's a med kit here. I don't know where that supply drops went. It's just quite an oh, there's there. Sack off these guys and go and get the supply drop before we cut this video off. Oh. Again, that could have went really badly in a previous time. But obviously when you come to post-game content and stuff like that, it gets to the point where you're quite overpowered. So you'll see the pop-ups come up here about how much you can get from looting a supply drops, so that's definitely something you want to do. Again, just even looking at the sky, looking around, the game, it's... Far Cry games have always been really fun, but I've often found that they've not been as good looking as people try to suggest sometimes. But this one is an exception, I would say. 
I, I genuinely didn't think Far Cry 5 looked as good as people said, but this one's absolutely brilliant. If you have, sort of to finish off, if you have any interest in Far Cry games, if you have any interest in first person shooters, um, I highly recommend checking it out. These sort of deformed animals are always worth getting a skin from. Shit, it's re rendered me. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's a busy area this. Try to do an outro here. About a hundred guys coming at me. Um, yeah, so if you've any interest in first person shooters, Far Cry games, I understand that some people might think that the games are becoming too similar, getting a bit long in the toothy to come up with some more ideas. Uh, they have ad added RPG light elements this time around, which I think makes a difference. I think it's it's gave the game enough new to justify um, things that people have knocked the game for, in my mind, are pluses. The fact that they've reused the map is a good thing. If you're not aware, Far Cry New Dawn takes place 17 years after the events of Far Cry 5, so... It's interesting to me to go around and look at areas that you knew from the previous game and see what's changed in what is a hard has been a hard seventeen years if you don't know the the story of Far Cry Five. Um, it's it's a really good game, a really really good game. Uh, if you are new to the series, I would not say that you'd have to play Far Cry Five before playing this. To be honest. Uh, the story is it's <sighs> the story in Far Cry 5 some loved it, some hated it, I was not a massive fan uh, I think I think Far Cry New Dawn is a step up from Far Cry 5 in every way uh, I made mention in the review and again I don't want to get too far into spoilers but Far Cry games one thing that's all I've all thought has always let them down is the sort of drugged up dream sequences. I've never liked them, never been a fan. And while that is still in this game, it's in it much less than previous games. And to me, that was almost the biggest plus. It was the biggest compliment I could pay it was that they, for the most part, other than a few small sections, left that alone, and to me that was was a big plus. I mean, look at this, just gorgeous backdrops. During the day the game looks even better. Um, I say go for it, I say pick it up. Like I say, £40, $40, you can't go wrong. Um, people say it's a, a, small, a shorter experience, it is, but a shorter experience in a Far Cry game is still 20 hours. Uh, oh shit. If you like trophies, uh, it's not a hard platinum trophy. Uh, you don't have to collect everything, you only have to collect a certain amount. Uh, you have to do different bits and pieces over again, but it's fun. You're doing stuff that's fun over and over again. It's got a really, really good gameplay loop that is addictive and leaves you wanting more. And yep, if you look at the bottom just now, the review score will be tacked onto this and that's all I've really got to say. Thanks for watching this video part of the review. You can also find the written section uh, on the website vdzedmedia.net. Please keep it locked to YouTube, the website, Twitter and all other forms of media which we are across. And watch out for the rest of our content. Uh, I hope to be doing some more streams on Twitch in the coming weeks. Um, trying to work out a sort of schedule for that, it's a bit difficult with a hectic family life, but we'll see what we can do. And thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you soon.